M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Malahit DSP2, fantastic little scanner, covers most bands, VHF, UHF, airband, marine band, it's just excellent waterfall, really high quality receive. Listen to this, I'll just turn it up. Yeah, yeah, it just works great. So just a quick one trying to learn the uh, the sort of scanning functions in this. If you hit band here, it says band. And you, you get this page and these are all preset bands and you can just select one. It's 20 meters, great. And it goes straight to it. So I enjoy that, nice and easy, straightforward to learn. To change the frequency, step, press down. That goes white, spin the knob, don't just click it, spin it. Get bigger steps for, for, for tuning, press it again, and then it will just tune fine. Not really sure why it makes you spin it, but when you do steps, because as a frequency VFO, it works fine. Anyway, a bit within this, there's loads of functions. One of the ones I saw is that when you press the band, if you turn the top right knob, yeah, the one that's marked frequency, backwards one, you get these scan windows, scan monitor they're called. I've been reading the instruction manual and I just think the the best way to try and learn it is to do it in the end. So this one's blank. Now remember the frequency is here. So whatever frequency is here will go in here. So if we've got 14.124. If we hit scan monitor, that's going to start to create a new one. So look, 14.124. So I'm guessing that any parameters that you decide to put in, to, now to come out of this, you just hold band. And it will sort of save it. Yeah, automatically hit band again. You're back. So let's just say any parameters you put in, mode and things like that. That'll be USB. If there's a squelch, audio is where your squelch is. There's your squelch enabled there in the audio tab, ETC. So go back to the band, start a new one. And we've got some parameters here. Now, it looks like we can change them. So you've got 14.100 megahertz, and there's another one there, F2. So again, that's the scanning range. So to 14.524, hold time two seconds. Listen by squelch, it says here. I'll leave that on. The steps are one kilohertz. So let's uh, leave that. Scanner name, we can give it a name. Let's do that. Now is it allowing us to, yeah, we're changing with the top right black thing so we can start adding names and to move along, press the little arrow, you get it. And then you can clear the name as well, look. Probably a better idea, wasn't it? I don't want to spend all day typing names. So we'll just put B. Ooh, is that Russian? <laughs> B1. Okay, and then we're going to save and exit. And then start. And you get this window. So apparently now it's scanning. I'm not really sure what that means. But if you hear something, I've noticed if I hit skip, it will move along. If I hear something I want to save, I can go save. And it does a little green thing here. If I hit skip, all those frequencies I've skipped, all those steps that we set, one kilohertz, it shows these red sections here, and that gets bigger and bigger, and then you can save. Then stop. So to me, I don't see this, this scanning thing, so I'm, maybe I'm, well, I know that I haven't properly learned this, but I've read the manual, I'm tinkering with it, and I'm just not seeing here. Yeah, so we go skip, we go stop, hit the band, hit the band again. You get this, so we can go start. You're back to it, band. So if anyone else, you've got monitor as well, start. If anyone else, well, I'd like someone else to tell me 
better a, a better way of scanning. Thanks for watching. Bye.